So, very good afternoon to all. I welcome you all on behalf of the Vishwabharati Library Network in the last session of the three days academic research skill development program. As we are already aware that the Vishwabharati Library Network is uh, frequently organizing this type of uh, program to enhance uh, uh, their skill, research skill or the publication skill of the uh, research scholar as, as well as the faculty members and the staff of the university. So I also, I, I would like to thank to the university library and all uh, university library and Vishwabharati for giving me this opportunity to coordinate this session. So today we have the lecture on the Active utilization of key resources to steer quality research by Dr. D. Lal, DELCON coordinator and head of the NGRC Gurgaon. So, today I would like to request Dr. Kaushik Ghosh, assistant librarian and in charge general section, Central Library, to introduce today's speaker. So, Kaushik, please. Thank you, Ajita. So it's my great pleasure and honor uh, to introduce with today's speaker, none other than Dr. D.D. Lal. Sir. So Dr. D.D. Lal is working as a head and chief librarian at National Brain Research Institute Center, Manishar Gurgaon, Haryana, since its inception, and as well as working as Delcom National Coordinator for both British Electronic Library Consortia for Data Technology since the year 2000. He obtained his PhD degree in LIS from the University of Calcutta. He holds postgraduate diploma in journalism and mass communication, Bachelor of Library Information Science, Master of Library Information Science, and Field Library Information Science too. He established a digital library concept at National Brain Research Center. Beam University Manager, as well as the conceptualization digital library concept in other DBT institutions. He has 23 years of professional library experience in managing the library, which is uh, of NBRC, which is a Dean University of the Department of Biotechnology, Minister of Science and Technology, Government of India, and 15 years of professional experience in managing the National Library DBT e Library Consortia. He worked at NIT Pundit Puducherry as a deputy librarian during the tenure 2014 to May 2015 period. And he had conceptualized the smart library concept during your journey at NIT Puducherry. He taken initiatives for the conceptualization of National Biotechnology Consortia, that is DBT's Electronics Library Consortia, which is called Delcom Consortia and has been single-handedly managing this Delcom National Consortia since the year 2009 to till date and playing the role as a Delcom National Coordinator for Delcom Consortia. He organized various library events such as workshops, conferences, seminars, webinars uh, for the NBRC and on the Delcom Consortia. That is Delcom National Consortia 2013, Delcom National Workshop 2017, Delcom National Seminar 2018, NBRC National Seminar 2019, NBRC National Awareness Program 2019, and Delcom National Webinar 2020, and many more. He was invited as an expert by the National Academy of Sciences, Allahabad, for planning of the digitization of the Academy Library of Nashi Allahabad in the year 2006. He's also a question paper setter for the written exam for the recruitment of allies professional at various organizations such as NITSS, SRI, DBT's institution and many more. He visited Hong Kong in the year 2016 and represented India in the OCLC conference and Asia Pacific Region Council meeting during 2016 on libraries at the crossroads and contributed to a lecture about the managing NBRC library, digital library, as well as Delcom National Consortia. His area of specialization are library networking, library consortiums, and digital libraries. 
He edited more than four books and he has more than 25 publications in his credit. He participated and been involved in many national and international conferences. He is the live member of Indian ILA, EAS League, CGLA, LPA, and MPLA Library Associations. He is an active member of various national negotiation committees, as well as national licensing committees for various national consortia, such as ONOS, very important, like One Nation, One Subscription. Hopefully today will enlighten particular this event also. I am, we are all interested and eagerly waiting for this topic. ESS, Ishok uh, Sindhu, DRDO Consortia, NKRC, CSRI Consortia, and CRA Agriculture Consortia too. He chaired many technical sessions for the conferences and seminar, as well as the participated as a member of the panelist. He delivered various lectures and talks on various platforms, conferences, and seminars. He conceptualized and set up a library association of Bihar with the help of other library professionals. And he is presently the honorary general secretary for this LAB association and working towards the welfare and betterment for the library professional. So may I request uh, Dr. Lausar, please uh, you may proceed for your today's journey and deliberation. And we are anxiously waiting to listen, uh, listen your uh, lecture to Sir, please. Thank you, Dr. Kaushik Ghos, uh, for the brief in, uh, introduction. And uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar Sarma. Thank you, Dr. Nimai Chand Saha, sir, for the giving opportunity to interact with participants and Vishu uh, Bharti, prestigious uh, organization. So today, we have topic of effective utilizations of uh, e-resources of a sheer quality research. So let me share that PPT. So it is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, so we have to discuss about the topic effective utilization of e-resources and uh, quality research. So first we, we should understand that what is research, why we do the research. So basically I'm working here in that National Brain Research Center. So uh, there are so many research centers. Why government open the research center? Because, you know, so uh, if you see that previous, so from previous year to now this, era, we are in that 21st century. So we are reaching to the, you know, uh, uh, reaching to the Chandrayaan 3. Okay. So uh, all these, these are development due to research. Okay. So there are so many research center uh, government has made to the day by day development. And we are discussing here about that effective utilization of e-resources. So let me go to the next slide. So there are so many research center in Delhi and other part of India. Suppose that agriculture research center is there, uh, medical research center is there too. Outline here, we can see that introduction. I will show the introduction about that NBRC, okay? Where I am working, understanding research. What is research? Why people used to do research? What is the benefit with the research, okay? process and flow chart of research, e-resources and features and its advantage, search tools and functions, resources and research works and utilizations, institutional repositories and IR, INS, important resources, e-resources, database and websites, research ethics, plagiarism and Delcon consortium, which I am managing. I'm the Delcon coordinator also for this uh, uh, consortium and further conclusion. So now I will just introduce about that my institutions, National Brain Research Center, which is a autonomous organization of Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, 
and it was established in the 14th number 1997 by the DBT and it started functioning from the year 1999 from ICGD. It was inaugurated and dedicated to the nation by the ex-president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam on 16 December 2003. MBRC is a university recognized by UGC and status is deemed university on 20th uh, uh, May 2002. So president is NVRC president is Professor P. N. Tandon, founder director is Professor Vijayalakshmi Rabindranath, and current director is Professor Kishanura. It is 50 kilometers away from that, uh, Delhi and 20 kilometer, 30 kilometer from Gurgaon, and the whole building is in the shape of brain. Okay, and basically it is in that Arauli Valley. So beautiful campus. And uh, we do uh, our that uh, research area is the cellular molecular neuroscience, development neuroscience, system and cognitive neuroscience, computational neuroscience, and brain imaging. Scientific facilities available at NBRC, like DNA sequencing, DNA microarray, MRI, fMRI, MRS, MEG, etc. Courses we have heard about that MSc in neuroscience, integrated PhD and PhD in neuroscience. This is a high education institution. So national collaboration, we had that 46 network centers in India, all over India. So now we understand that research. Research terms derived from that French word research, meaning to search. In abbreviation, we see R for rational way of thinking means logical thinking. E for expert and exhaustive treatment, like a specialist and complete treatment. S for search for solution, rectification, Resolutions, E for exactness, purity, and accuracy, A for analytical analysis of adequate data, analysis of sufficient data, R for relationship between facts and theories, C for constructive attitude, critical observations, and caution and careful reading, H for honesty and hard work. So, all the research required that honesty and hard work. So research is formed with the two words, re and search. Re is a prefix, meaning it do it again, and noun search, meaning of investigate or to look for that discovery. Research refers to a search for knowledge. It is movement from known to unknown. Research, innovation, and knowledge. These three words are correlated with that each other as with new ideas, innovation, people, do research, generate that new knowledge. Research is an art of scientific investigation. Research refers to a systematic method of consisting the problem, formulating a hypothesis, collecting the facts of data, analyzing the facts, reaching certain conclusions, either in the form of solutions or towards the problem. So uh, here is the comparison between search and research. Search or research make uh, difference, uh, basic difference uh, we understand through this, okay? Like expertise. Search ke liye hume koi expertise ki jurte nahi hai, no qualification. Humne bola ki hai, hume search karke do, ye khoj ke lao, people will search, okay? Anybody can search. So no qualification is required. In research, qualification is required. Qualified researchers is required. Goal, find something, and in research, Uncover new information, add knowledge, identify facts. Duration in the search, often short, it will be short. And research, because of systematic process, it will take a long time. Process, no layout, hum kisi bhi tarah se search kar sakte hai, search mein, or research mein, has steps and stages. These are the steps. So, hume usi steps se jana chahiye, or stages follow karna chahiye. Regulations not uh, mention any regulations in the search and in research monitor and regulated interdependence not dependent in the search and research dependent or search result is good. so the purpose of research why people used to do research why you do research to contribute or extend the knowledge like covid covid me am logo ne kya kya covid me just vaccine हमें in mention नहीं हो गया हम लोगों ने research किया उसको covid पर हमने कई सारे लोगों पर research हमने किया और फिर जाके उसका vaccine तैयार हुआ okay so how do you do this by building 
ऑन द वर्स ऑफ अदर्स किसी ने काम किया हो उसको हमने एक्सटेंड किया उसके आगे हमने सर्च किया उसके आगे हमने रिसर्च किया देन इट विल बी रिसर्च द पर्पज टू रिपोर्टिंग आवर रिसर्च वी आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू प्लेस आवर रिसर्च इन द राइट कंटेक्स टू शो दैट वी आर अवेयर ऑफ वाट एल्स इज हैपनिंग टू शो दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड वेयर आवर वर्क फिट्स इट्स फॉलो दैट ए रिपोर्ट दैट वी राइट अबाउट आवर ओन वर्स वी कुड बी रिपोर्टिंग ऑन द वर्स ऑफ अदर्स we have to make clear distinctions distinctions between that what is our original work what is our opinion about that others work work can be ideas descriptions uh, re re research data opinion pictures figures tables music etc so our report must contain an analysis or similar relevant works okay so researchers today are more demanding than earlier like evaluate the impact showcase their work collaboration organizing or writing secure funding evaluate and read the articles publish efficiently stay updated so a typical publishing workflow so what editors want if you are submitting any of articles so why it is going to reject it so these are the what editors want the paper is uh, scientifically correct if it is reports something new if it reports something significant if the paper is of interest of the readers and why it is being rejected by the editors like topic of research not trending not impactful poorly writing of text language error means language mein mistakes hai grammar error hai too many irrelevant self cites poor geographical distributions of citations recent article is not cited leading scientists uh, top journals are not cited so seven steps of research process like define research problem review the of literatures formulate hypothesis koi bhi research karne se pehle hum log ye seven steps follow karte hain like hum log एक टॉपिक डिफाइन करते हैं हमें किस पर रिसर्च करना है क्या टॉपिक हमें चाहिए कौन सा हमारा इंटरेस्ट का है ओके देन आफ्टर वी कलेक्ट दैट आर्टिकल्स एंड आफ्टर दैट वी रिव्यू द लिटरेचर्स ओके फॉर्मुलेट हाइपोथेसिस एंड प्रिपेयरिंग द रिसर्च डिजाइन डाटा कलेक्शंस डाटा एनालिसिस एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ रिपोर्ट राइटिंग टू दीज आर दैट यू नो सेवन स्टेप्स वी टू फॉलो द रिसर्च प्रोसेस तो स्टेप वन डिफाइन द टॉपिक narrow narrow down the topic gather the background information create the research questions develop a work thesis statement find any valid source cite resources and write the papers so personal reason for publish what is the personal reason for publishing so like somebody is doing phd degree somebody wants to get funds somebody wants to get recognition popularity some want to get promotion okay some want to help the societies so some wants to improve that their writing upgrade the knowledge recognize the uh, research access uh, work quality help to the society so editors reviewers and research community they don't consider all these uh, reasons for you know accepting papers when they are accessing or review your work okay so completion of research preparation of manuscript submission of manuscript assignment and review and after that it will go to the editors editor will decide whether it will you know accept or reject they will review they will send to the reviewer review will check and then after it will be either if there is a requirement of that uh, updates and modification they will revert back to the uh, author and then it will be re review then acceptance or rejections so these are the process so research proposal flow chart like introduction what why how research questions you, you have to find out hame kis pe research karna literature review you have to collect the research literature methodology you have to follow the methodology which process you want to follow and preliminary data you have to collect the all data either by survey or whatever method is there a statement of limitations and further conclusions so these are the way for that 
writing that scientific papers. So now we are discussing about that e-resources. What are the e-resources? E-resources means electronic resources. Is an, uh, electronic resources and information resources, bibliographic or full text, which can be accessed through internet. Okay, so like e-resources, books are there, e-books, e-journals, e-thesis, dissertations, bibliographic full text, CDs, DVDs, uh, microfilms, video tapes, blogs, websites, YouTube's. These all are that e-resources nowadays. It is good. So what is the benefits and advantage of e-resources? Why people go for that e-resources? Like save physical storage, space save, save the cost also. Users don't need to visit library. They can access from their self. So no loss and damage of the titles. Titles. Suppose that earlier we used to subscribe before that we found five. So uh, generally in our institutions, uh, journals come from abroad. Okay, because this is that a specialized organization in the neuroscience. So basically neuroscience books are not available, journals are not available in India. So generally we used to procure from abroad. So once they transit from there, so sometimes it damaged, sometimes it uh, reached late. So in online, once you, you, uh, you pay and immediately you will get access and provide as a stable funds, you can increase the funds for the disabled persons, instant delivery of purchase, whatever you purchase, you will get immediately instant availability of item and can be used can be used to provide access to the out of print materials also and allow access over land so throughout campus you can access either you are in the uh, canteen either you are in the hostels you can access this uh, online itself ip based in the institutions means you, are, you will get that full access without password can be used simultaneously by more than one user so if we have a print, if we have a director, if we have a director, if we have a director, then we will have a And what is online? Everybody can access in the same time. Okay? Around the clock uh, available, means 24, 7, 365 available. Support different searching capability. Okay, so you can search articles through that link and they have given that different you know, a searching capabilities there. Accommodate unique features like link to other items, other articles are also given. You can just click and get the other articles. Can support that multimedia information, interlibrary loan facility for research works, and environment friendly. So it is environment friendly, provide timely access, uh, automatically generate alert, and other secondary services. Do not require that physical processing. So, if uh, print, we have to do physical processing, karna padta hai, stamping, karna padta hai, record, and both are process, technical process. Karna padta hai. But in e resources, we have to do Speed of publication, quick delivery, then print, search, advanced search, keyword search for the full text, searching, browsing, uh, printing relevant materials. And for online, also, you will get that back volumes, archivals. Free of cost, they have to provide from 95 onwards. Characteristics of uh, e resources like process basic common functionality, like searchable, browsable, simple, advanced search features, provision of information update, alerts, table of contents, and keywords by email. So once you uh, set that email and keywords, so it automatically go to the interested person. Personal worker space, different user interface worth sending some time with that system panel radiation prior to the information seeking require effective search strategies and techniques as key to effective use of the resources how to find research articles and paper okay sir uh, your slide is not changing sir not changing not sir oh just to wait so on which slide you are looking Sir, uh, it's uh, still on the research part, completion of research, uh, it's a flow chart, something. Okay, okay. Let me resume again. Let me again reshare it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Sometimes technology also creates problem. <laughs> yes, sir. 
So now it is visible. Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay. How to find search? It is coming. Yeah. How to find research article? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. So. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Okay. So the reading scientific papers are an important part of your research. When you do the background for searching, referencing. So literature search is the area which you are interested for that, which topic you, you have interest. Okay, so based on that, you have to give the keywords and to search your articles on that part. Okay, mentor and guides and supervisors are the great source they will recommend for papers. Regular search engine like Google, Yahoo, Amazon are not much effective. You will get lots of results, mixtures of websites, and very few peer review and relevant articles you will get. Okay. So the best thing when you looking for the scientific paper, you search them in academic search engines. Always for that research, you search with that academic search engines like you know uh, Google Scholar, uh, Microsoft Academic and PubMed, IT Poly. Science direct. So these all are that academic search engines where you can search the article. Like PubMed, PubMed is made for that, uh, especially for that life sciences and medicines. So here in NBRC, uh, generally the scientists search through PubMed, which we are using. IEEE search engines for a specific for that electronics and uh, you know electric engineers and electric engineering and computer science, etc. Agricola is agriculture related disciplines and others database also people use to search like scopus web of science which also provide that you know results article search through google and google Asher, a scholar so i will show here what is the difference between if you are searching through google log generally kya karte hain koi bhi keyword dal dete hain google mein aur search karte hain to kya dikhata hai millions of billions of articles it will see. so it is very difficult to filter. So, usko filter kaise kare? Millions of articles, nobody want to refer. Okay. So, for the Google Scholar is the easy way people use to search like keywords, name of author, or title of paper. So, generally you put and you will get the result. Before you start the search, define your keyword. keyword to search So, you will get that most relevant results. Okay. So, here is just I given a simple example of cancer immunotherapy. You will see billions of uh, you know result is here. Okay, if the same keywords, if you search through that Google Scholar, what is the result? Nine lakh twenty eight thousand. Okay, and if you see same keywords, I am searching in PubMed. What is the result? One lakh sixty one thousand six hundred twenty seven. So. For the academic search, you have to go through that PubMed or you know uh, Google Scholar. So just now we can see that Google Scholar. Okay. So keyword is cancer immunotherapy and killer cells. And further we will give that cancer immunotherapy killer cells in lungs. And after that cancer immunotherapy, immunotherapy killer cells and lungs and brain. Just see the result. What will happen? So I put that, I just add that killer cell. The result is 4,000, 4, 5,000. And if I give that lungs, cancer immunotherapy and killer cells in lungs, so the result is 58,000. I want to make more filter. So I put that uh, cancer immunotherapy and killer cells in the lungs and brains. So now the result is 33,000. So generally people, Scientists generally recent articles dekhte hain, recent ko kya development hua hai, uske base par ho further development karte hain. To ham log ko kya dekhna hoga? 22 aur 23 article dekhna hoga. Agar ham 23 article filter karte hain, to 16,400 results aata hai. Okay? So we can filter the top articles, top 10 articles, 20 articles, and you know we utilize. So in that Google Scholar, what are the features? So suppose that some PDF is given so you can download that freely, uh, which is freely available. You can save it for that future reading. So, so suppose that you don't have time, you want to read those articles in later on, so just click here in a star and save, so it will save on. 
you can create your profile you can create your library you can create alert also so it will generate alert to your email and your uh, google scholar okay advanced search is also given so you can search by uh, keyword you can search by that uh, author name okay date of publish you can filter that publish ki hame 10 saal ya 5 years ka hi hame search karna hai so you give that details between that uh, range so it will give the re result between the range so article search through permit ab ab hum log dekhte hain permit ke through kaise search hum karte hain okay jo ki yahan hum log karte hain generally so cancer immunotherapy so the result is 161000 if i add that killer cells it's come to the 10118 and further i put that lungs it's came to the 1192 results okay so this is easy because this this terminology is medical terminology so permit is suitable for that and life sciences so if i click that brain because we are working in brain so i put that brain so results is 40 so you can refer the article most relevant article you refer and then you can work on this you can extend your research on this parts okay so here that uh, uh, permit also provide that some of uh, article if it available freely it is written that pre article is available so you can check and also you can filter through that you know text and you know year wise also you can filter a full text you see here full text is given you just click and you will get the complete article okay advanced search is also given applications if you want to see the applications just extend that applications okay so all the details here given in the name of journals year of publications and all doi okay so here is that details you can filter on any of these things page navigation is given here okay so articles uh, search through uh, research gate research gate also you will get that many of the articles free of course okay. like cancer immunotherapy type you will get the results and suppose that if you want to get only full text so here is the given uh, only full text if you highlight here okay click here you will get that only full text whatever full text is available here you will get and you can download to download options uh, given in the research gate okay search tools and functions so effective search strategy planning define your information need decide which source to use find out how they functions run your search review and refine your search to so define your information need carefully choice of search items is vital what keywords do you think will appear on the site or article you want what key concept is it part of the related to are they uh, any synonyms for that these keywords or concepts are there any alternative as, uh, as spellings for that keywords so that you can go through that okay decide which source to use what sources are appropriate for your information need like individuals and organizations home page newspaper magazine subject gateway database catalog journal subject full text reference sources encyclopedia dictionaries wikipedia books gay literature so uh, print and electronic resources so here are the boolean operators this is also very uh, important suppose that if you will get that uh, and boolean operators between two keywords you will get lots of results if you refine it to or or not you will filter the results also so resources for research works so these are the resources like you will get the from where you will get the resources like national library so they have that you know uh, collection of 26 lakh 41615 books and online books uh, are uh, 1 lakh 25 thousands so sorry 1 lakh 25 thousands titles are online books are available in english and general search 7000 general search available so you can explore by registering you have to register them and then you will get it 
Shodh, Shodh Ganga is uh, electronic thesis and repository of that in preliminaries. So here also we'll get the information and thesis and you can download. We also used to you know, uh, put uh, our thesis in that Shodh Ganga. So here you will see that NBRC has that 82 uh, uploaded titles in Shodh Ganga. Institutional repository. So we have that Science Central. Science Central. So all DBT institutions, so DST institutions, so they have that all repository on that Science Central. Okay. Instead of individual repository, they have you know a common repository that Science Central. So like see that NIAB, NBRC, NCCS, NIAB. So these all are repository. Here you see that all institutions like DST. See this this first. First talk is DST and second is that DBT institutions. So 18 DBT institutions, they have that all repository. They have already created the repository. So this is freely available to the public. So they can download, they can see the articles, they can, you know, if free is available free, they can download the articles also. So this is uh, institutional repository of NBRC on the Science Central portal. So IRINS, this is the, the Indian Research Information Network System plays a vital role in the research hub, connecting various uh, research landscape in the different subject domain in, at different level of institutions. So this is created by it, uh, in PlimNet. IRNS portal has, facilitates academic and research and development organization to collect, curate, and showcase the scholarly communication activities of their faculty, scientists, scholars, and provide an opportunity to create a scholarly network among them. So this is also very good uh, portal where the all information is also given. We have also developed and see this uh, NBRC IRINS is given. So we will see that H index and uh, H index of that uh, you know, uh, faculties. So here important resources in database and that website for the research work. So like a wave of science, uh, so 160 million record, more than 1.7 billion cited references are available under this uh, wave of science, but you have to get that you know, a subscription. These, these are not free. A scopus, that same uh, a scopus is also not free. These are subscription based. 28 million records are here, 1.4 billion cited references under that scopus, but you have to get a subscription in this Scopus and Web of Science. So uh, Scopus also cover that various areas like physical science, health science, social sciences, life sciences, and they have that journals, conference, books, patents, etc. So Google Scholar is also good search engine. So 160 million documents keep on the covering around 90% of that article discipline in English. Okay, PubMed, PubMed, I already shown you, 30 million references and abstracts are available. So you can get access. Uh, PubMed Central, this is that 5.9 million full texts are available. Medline search, people used to do the Medline search also, life chances and focus on that. Biomedical, over 25 million references are included in that. So JGET, JGET is also good platform. So 50,000 journals are indexed here. So IEEE, those who belong from engineering, they can access through that IEEE Explore. AI Combat, so these are that uh, engineering also and computerized, more than 20 million record from 77 nation. DOAJ, DOAJ is also very important uh, websites. People used to search here and they can download. So. 14,000 open access journals, over 4.6 million open access articles are available. So Delnet, uh, Delnet Del is also supporting research works. They have that so many books, journals, articles, but you have to be member of Delnet. So Delnet, once whatever is not available, suppose that we also a uh, member of Delnet, so whatever articles is not available, whatever books is required, we used to you know, ask them, they provide. These are the general uh, Delnet website. So free resources and website for the research work. So NDL, NDL is also uh, 
very important and popular website in the India. People used to search. So many resources are in the various disciplines. Uh, the resources are available. South Asia Archives is also an important website. A world ebook library. So three millions primary resources are available. Open online library. So I crore 25 lakh uh, uh, articles are available. So people used to download from that open access library. Welcome to free tech books. So tech books is useful for that those who belong from technology, like computer science and other technology. They, they can download it from uh, art, articles, books, and you know from uh, this website. This is very useful website for that computer science students. Okay. So DOAB, Directory of Open Access Books. This is useful website, eBooks directory, and free engineering books are available through this website, booksdirectory.com. Okay. So this is global ETD uh, websites. So Network Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertation. So uh, world, whole world, you know, they, they uh, uh, deposit their thesis and repository in, in this website. So here also we'll search that, you know, uh, millions of uh, thesis and dissertation. So e-resource in public domain at a glance like e-books, if you see that project Gutenberg, 20,000 e-books are available. In public, uh, uh, through Roma, uh, public uh, domain books, this is also available really accessible and but Marley by uh, com online book page MIT open courseware 500 courses available materials are available here you can download you can access read print sites are available okay 1000 plus uh, free books are available for students teachers they can explore these things free ebooks these sites are so useful for the uh, download that you know, books. And if you see that uh, public domain, available public domains for each journal, DOAJ, I already explained about that. New JOR, free full text, SCOM, open, open JGET. So these all are that freely uh, available. You can access public library of science, plus journals. So many of the scientists, they used to publish in this uh, uh, public library of science because of you know uh, visibility they will get more visibility their articles uh, read by more people bioline international biomed central unesco social and human sciences uh, documentation center e resources by public domain at a glance e journals so this is electronic journals and highwire press also provide that you know many of the journals and many of the articles free. So Indian Academic Science, this is Bangalore-based company. So they also uh, provide that all, all their uh, resources, all their journals. So you can download the PDF also. Journal of Digital Information. Uh, free Medical Journals. Through this website, freemedicaljournals.com, you can download that uh, free, freely available articles. Uh, further. This the subject gateway. Some are the subject gateway to like you know, pop prints uh, in a case. So these are the subject gateway. You can explore and you will get that uh, various articles and various resources for that research that will help for that your research. Bubble information service, e-print networks. So these all this these all are help for that uh, research. Okay, virtual library, info mine, intuit. Okay, voice of subtle, socio site, math guide, DMOZ. So these are that subject gateway. So some of that, you know, Indian, like coach directory, so uh, literatures are available in Hindi and Sanskrit, and directory, Sodhke, Sodhkos, Ipatra for the Indian language mailing services, research ethics. What is the research ethics? So, is research ethics means you have to think before the research ki hamare research se kisi ko nuksan na ho hum log direct human par research nahi karte 
कि कोई भी अगर आपने मेडिसिन डेवलप की तो डायरेक्ट ह्यूमन पर हम नहीं देते हैं उसको केयरफुली हम लोग जो है एनिमल्स पर फर्स्ट टेस्ट करते हैं उसके बाद वो मार्केट में लाया जाता है पेटेंट किया जाता है उसके बाद मार्केट में लिया जाता है हमारे यहाँ भी एनिमल हाउस है जिस पर हमारे जो साइंटिस्ट हैं रिसर्च करते हैं तो जो इथिक्स होता है लाइक ऑनेस्टी एंड इंटीग्रिटी होना चाहिए प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन सब्जेक्ट्स इससे हमारे रिसर्च से किसी को नुकसान ना हो केयर ऑफ एनिमल सब्जेक्ट्स एनिमल को भी कोई नुकसान ना हो ओके रिस्पॉन्सिबल पब्लिकेशन कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी होना चाहिए रेस्पेक्टिंग कॉपी राइट एन आई पी आर एंड ऑब्जेक्टिविटी तो प्लेगरिज्म इन रिसर्च प्लेगरिज्म इज स्पेसिफिकली डिफाइन एज ए फॉर्म ऑफ रिसर्च मिसकंडक्ट मिसकंडक्ट मीन्स फेब्रिकेशन फलिस्फिकेशन प्लेगरिज्म और एनी अदर प्रैक्टिस दैट सीरियसली डेविएट्स फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिस कॉमनली एक्सेप्टेड इन दैट डिसिप्लिन और इन द एकेडेमिक एंड रिसर्च कम्युनिटीज जनरली इन द परपोजिंग परफॉर्मिंग रिव्यूइंग एंड रिपोर्टिंग रिसर्च एंड क्रिएटिव एक्टिविटीज so what is plagiarism the plagiarism word actually come from that plagiarize to kidnap uh, in oxford dictionary plagiarism is the act of stealing someone's article someone's work attempting to pass it off it as its own this can be apply anything on that paper photocopy songs music and even ideas submit a paper dissertation thesis to the uh, graded or reviewed uh, that you have not written on your own okay copy and swear or text from that another classmate and submit it your own dusre ko kaam ko agar aap apna dikhate hain that is called plagiarism quote or paraphrase uh, uh, from another paper without crediting the original author to so, jiska original author hai usko credit dena chahiye cite data without crediting the original source purpose another author ideas as it is were your own fabricating references or using incorrect references submitting someone's is presentations program spreadsheet or other files with only minor alteration buying or selling terms papers assignment dissertations and thesis these all are the plagiarism so why do uh, students do the plagiarism uh, students kyun karte hain plagiarism ha huh? बिकॉज स्टडी प्रेशर स्टडी का प्रेशर होता है डिसऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे आर नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज पुअर स्टडी हैबिट्स दे डोंट स्टडी दे वॉन्ट इमिडिएटली टू कम्प्लीट द टास्क कट एंड पेस्ट कल्चर हमने कहीं से उठाया कहीं पेस्ट कर दिया इंग्लिश इज द इंटरनेशनल लैंग्वेज बहुत सारे लोगों को इंग्लिश में प्रॉब्लम होती है दैट इज ऑल्सो रीजन लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सीरियसनेस ऑन प्लेगरिज्म लैक ऑफ स्ट्रिक्ट एकेडेमिक डिसिप्लिन केयरलेस एटीट्यूड लैक ऑफ रेफरेंसिंग स्किल्स टू एंटी प्लेगरिज्म स्ट्रेटीज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स रिसर्चर्स एंड एजुकेटर्स अंडरस्टैंड वाई ए स्टूडेंट्स एंड एजुकेट देम टू नॉट टू चीज ओके एजुकेट देम अबाउट दैट प्लेग और प्लेगरिज्म वट इज द प्लेगरिज्म यू जस्ट डिफाइन जस्ट एक्सप्रेस जस्ट इन्फॉर्म दैम की वट इज द प्लेगरिज्म वट इज द सरकम चांसेस इफ यू डू द प्लेगरिज्म टेल्स them benefits of citing the sources let them know about that penalties and consequences uh, by that citing examples okay okay teach them about that how to detect plagiarism teach them about how to avoid plagiarism develop an institutional framework okay plagiarism policy open uh, access policies workshop and uh, training and proper guidance extend Strengthen your library and information system and integrate it with the research process. Okay, these are the anti-plagiarism software. So, original check, like uh, right check, turn it in, authenticate, Urkun and original. Urkun is now become the original, and in preliminary is providing the most of the universities. Grammarly, so this uh, duplicate check, plagiarism checker. So these are all are that you know. Uh, plagiarism check software so you have to intimate to the students and researchers to they will you know follow the system they will don't do the plagiarism uh, give them a uh, workshop about that writing and check the grammar grammarly software is also there okay so citation tool you inform about the citation tool how to cite easy bib is also there 
to understanding a biting plagiarism. So here I, I given that original or Urkund earlier it was Urkund. So these scenarios are from Urkund. So we have an admin to log in, you can log in and then here you have to give that email and password. After that login, it will allow you to upload that articles. You upload the articles, it will check plagiarism and it will show the plagiarism here. How much plagiarism you have. Okay. So this, this is the Delton website, which I'm managing. Presently, it is under review. So site is presently, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, we are going to update this site. So this is that website and I'm the coordinator for this. And these are the resources. So suppose that if you have that, uh, any of the requirement of all these articles, basically these all are life sciences and biotechnology science uh, articles and journals. So uh, we provide generally free, free of cost to the researchers in all over India. So every year we mostly provide that more than 500 articles to the researchers in all over India, either IITs, NITs, universities, uh, they had that biotechnology department. They used to write us, we used to provide them free of cost to the full text article from all the resources, whatever we are, 1000 plus online resources we have, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have under the Delta. Okay, so in conclusion, so inspiring collaboration with the joint research work resulting past complete task enormous time to save that terms of articles by accessing that online resources, immense help to the publishing more scientific paper if you uh, utilize that best resources and it will be that help for the scientific publications. Help in getting information quickly related to scientific. You have that uh, so much resources to utilize carefully and it does not matter how it does not matter how many resources you have. You have to think about how to utilize the resource. This is that uh, today. So thank you so much. Now we can so, take the questions if uh, anybody yes, has. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lal, sir, for his nice uh, and very informative lecture. So now uh, the floor is open for the uh, interaction. So, I am requesting all the participants, uh, uh, if have mm -hmm. any questions in their mind, please may ask uh, their questions directly to Dr. Lal sir or, uh, or may put their questions in chat box. We will pick up questions also from the chat box. Hello, yeah. We get certificate regarding engineer. Your question yeah. regarding certificate. Yes, sir. You want to certificate. Regarding engineer. Three days. My sir. Three days. You attended? Hello, hello sir. Yeah, hello. actually, now participants are requested to ask question on the topic. Then the certificate and other issues will be taken care of. I hope its language is very clear. Okay. He is asked question to the research person on the topic, whatever he has presented or showing to the slide. Now, my colleague, Mr. Sharma, asked to open the floor on that subject and topic oriented interaction session. Okay. So now this is open. Okay. Good evening to all. This is Sonam Zampo, assistant prof. Professor in the Department of indo tibetan Studies. Am I audible to you, sir? Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Carry on. Okay. So I have a small query. During your slide, uh, there was one point that you were discussing, and uh, one uh, point as a heading was there a gray, gray literature. So will you make uh, more clarification on this point? What is gray literature? Yes. yes. Basically, I, I mentioned about that gray literature from that government organizations. So many of the literature that come that doesn't come in that public. Okay, so those okay. are that gray literature. Okay, so uh, these, these are regarding that gray literature. 
from that uh, official okay okay many of you. ministry they have that uh, reports okay, okay. there is reports they have their minutes they have uh, record some you know uh, uh, meetings so those are that documents which can be utilized for that research purpose to okay. mention about that those literature yeah. thank you thank you so much sir welcome hello yes person we are able to hear you hello yeah person we can hear please raise your question yeah i am professor sonal singh from vikram university ujjain uh, i just want to ask uh, professor lal that uh, research libraries are of a specialized nature so what responsibility the librarian should shoulder if they are working in the research library thank you ma'am so there are so many responsibility for that librarian okay in the research organization as i am working in the research, i will explain that my experience i will inform about that my experience here so we have given that so many responsibilities suppose that we have to provide that resources to the scientists we have uh, means uh, we acquire the resources we provide the resources we help them in their uh, research work like we help them for writing the uh, paper we help them for checking that plagiarism we help them for their uh, students for thesis we help them about that you know uh, their uh, presentation their meetings their collaboration their uh, funds uh, you know how to get funds so many things they have you know assigning and we have to do all uh, in, these are all in our routine work a part yes. of uh, a part of this uh, maintenance of library so these all are that routine work we have to do we have to check their uh, h index many of the people uh, scientists they used to come and you know they request to check the uh, our uh, h index why the other people have that you know higher h index why i am not getting higher h index why their publication is more why more my publication is less so these are all kinds of works you know in the scientists yes. to do thank you so much doc sir thank you ma'am sir can i ask one question yes sir yeah uh, uh, thank you uh, lal sir uh, you have given lots of information it's really helpful for all of us my basic question is that is there any legal issues by using that e resources because you know nowadays lots of uh, legal issues are there in field of research so what are the basic uh, legal issues we should keep in our mind okay so, you are asking about legal issues yeah legal issues from publisher side or from uh, user side user side user side yeah okay as per that my opinion uh, there is no problem for that you know uh, utilizing that e resources from that user side because user is just using the resources the problem is with that uh, uh, with publisher suppose that one of user they download that whole articles from that uh, uh, journal so then it will go to the publisher publisher what will do publisher will block that you know uh, ip so he will not have that access because publisher has noticed that he, this is not fair download okay so the access has been given but you can only download that required articles not the whole articles if you are downloading the whole articles is the violation of rules okay so these are the problems seems to come from the publisher side and uh, institutions face the problem because i am maintaining that uh, delcan website so uh, and delcan consortium which having that 1000 plus online resources and 15 foreign publishers are included in that so we have to sign that license agreement with that publishers we suppose that our users will download if we required we can uh, provide the articles to them if we violate the rules it will be legal okay Thank you, Lal sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, my name is Shumit Chakraborty. Sir, my basic question is, uh, whenever I am uh, writing a research article on a new topic, 
the topic is uh, new in the era of elias field or any other field so okay. in the reference in the reference part i would not uh, refer any books only the journal articles i would refer so this such cases uh, when i were making the thesis writing so there will be any consequences for that no books are published on that topic still now so whatever i have the research articles the, through the research articles i have to give in the reference on that so there is any consequences after that happen no uh, i mean uh, if you if you want to know about that if you suppose that if you are uh, side books then it will be yes. problem ha uh, on topic there is no research book I mean, no books are earlier published in the okay. uh, literature in, in the part of uh, uh, review of literature only the journal articles i have studied no it's fine you can uh, study journals or any of the books but whenever you are writing that articles or whenever you are writing the book you have to give proper citations so whatever you have material taken from those so you have to cite them okay either from the yes. recent either it is from past so it doesn't matter but you have to okay. mention and you have to cite those things okay. that okay. is published or not published doesn't matter okay. when you are writing you are writing the uh, you know press chapter or press book or press manuscript but you have to you know uh, mention that from where you taken that uh, you know materials materials or data okay yeah or data okay. yes data. thank you sir thank you very much thank you any more question from the participants side no so no yeah again again i have a query uh, in ki in the in the concern to the plagiarism so suppose if we translate a literature from one language to another language in that case in in that case or in a translation of that work and later on it is published in the translated lit, uh, language suppose it is in, from uh, hindi to english or hindi to uh, english to hindi if that work is published in that case there is a uh, some issue of plagiarism case yes uh, have you used that uh, facebook sorry have you used the facebook are you using the facebook no very rare yeah. okay so if you type something in facebook mm. or if you comment something mm. uh, in bengali language or mm. in tamil language okay if it, it will come you, you want to translate it yeah you will get that original you know text yes what you are writing yes. that same yes. way in google translation is also there so it is reflect that you have copied uh, from somewhere and it will show the sources also so there are any software they will you know find out from where you are you know uh, copying and from where you are taking so uh, please avoid all these things to you know uh, translation and you know suppose that if you are don't think ki agar hindi mein hai usko humne english mein le liya to plagiarism show nahi karega it will be plagiarism all it will be plagiarism Okay, thank you. Any more question? So I think there is no question from the participants side. Even I am not able to find any questions in the chat box also. Oh, one one question in the chat box that is from the DJ Lata. my question is that does any of the plagiarism checker reserve our data and as a result does another plagiarism checker recognize our work as plagiarized since it has identified our own writing sir okay so the question is that whether that uh, plagiarism software they they uh, you know uh, store the data or not okay yes. so definitely they store the data but it depends upon that uh, different kind of uh, plagiarism software there some plagiarism software they store their data some they don't store or some admin they can remove that data also if it is stored admin have rights to uh, remove the data also. 
So it depends upon that you know plagiarism software. But basically, it is a store in Urkund and uh, you know uh, original it is store. I store the data. Any more question? So I think uh, no more questions from the participant side. So thank you, Dr. D.D. Lal sir, for his uh, very nice and very informative lecture. You have nicely elaborated about the topic, about the research, its different steps, the research process, and the various reasons for why scholars doing research work. He also discussed about the e-resources, various academic search engines to find out the various e-resources. You have also told about how to find out the articles, especially the research articles through the different search engines like the Google, Google Scholar, PubMed with a, a proper search term with the with the different uh, even result also uh, how the result is reflecting from the one search engine to the another search engine you have also shown various web portals irs and uh, different databases from where researchers can get the uh, research papers you have also focused in the research ethics and plagiarism what are uh, different uh, uh, steps of plagiarism, how uh, to also the, uh, how to avoid the plagiarism and uh, all these things about the research uh, ethics. So definitely all the participants, even uh, uh, the Vishwabharti fraternity have uh, very enriched about uh, from your lecture, sir. So maybe, uh, now it's part of the vote of thanks. So now I would like to request uh, our university librarian, Dr. Nimai Chan Saha, to confer the vote of thanks. Nimai sir, please. Okay. Okay, Ajay, thank you. So uh, before going to take as a part of wording formal word of thanks, let me just say a few words about this three day session. The day one was the topic, Research and Publication Ethics, Contemporary Issues, delivered by Dr. Jeeves Bansal, Deputy Librarian of Punjab University, Chandigarh. And yesterday was a session on digital rights management in IPR regime. It was delivered by Dr. Monish Kumar Bajpayee, Deputy Librarian and in charge of the library, Dr. Ram Manolaya National Law University, Lucknow. And today, we are before you, with the topic, effective utilization of e-resources to steer quality research, which has been delivered by Dr. D.D. Lalser right away, and who is supposed to be a kind of a type of very popular personality in the LIS field of India and abroad too. And what is the beauty of Dr. Lalser is that he is very approachable. And as you know, at present, we are living in the open access environment, open source, open software, we are talking about. And I being a fan of Dr. Lal sir, without taking his permission, I may request all the participants, he is a person of open librarian, open access, open approachable. Whenever you people find any difficulty in course of steering your research work, don't hesitate twice. Just drop a mail to Dr. Lal sir and wait few time, wait some time. I think you will get right answer from his endeavor, which will ensure your quality research. And that is why today's topic was effective of utilization of e-resources to steer quality research. So to me, as a part of concluding remarks of this session, if you intend, if you willing, to ensure a quality research and to utilize the effective resource. Please include the name of Dr. D.D. Lal sir as a kind of resources. Drop email, get resources, ensure 
your quality of research. That is why today's topic is being customized that effective utilization. Don't be worried. Maybe it is subscribed resources. Maybe it is open access resources. Let it throw to his neck. He will take care how to collect from where to collect. One madam asked that what is the role of the librarian to steer the research in the present scenario? My answer is very instrumental role of the librarian in the present day society in the research arena. That whenever you people feel any ambiguity in course of any publication, in course of any research activity, without thinking twice, just drop a mail, five, six librarian of university of different university, different institute of India, like Dr. Lal said, one of them. And we will be here to feed you with the right information as far as right time is concerned to ensure the quality research. Because we librarians are always dreaming that the subject expert will confine his concentration on ensuring the quality research. We are here just like a information or resource caterer, unlike food caterer, because we are not able to give you the food. But here, we are here to give you information or resource as a food of your research through which you can cook your topic, through which you can cook your publications, and which will again, in a receipt or re-imaging mode, you will cater it to the human society of global level. And that is why research and our human civilization is a cyclical or dynamic pattern and dynamic role. So there actually the role of the librarian centralized, evolved, recycled. And the, the, the entire research process steered by the academician and we people here in back of the academician to research provider, resource provider, information provider on demand, on requirement. Our message to you all not to be Spare your valuable time by retrieving resources. Just drop your questions to librarian and you people just concentrate on your research work. That is our basic message to you by this today's session. Whatever the topic was, research ethics, IPR, or this effective utilization of resources to steer quality research. In one sentence, if I want to wrap it up, today's session, Dr. Lalsar may be considered as a kind of research resources for steering quality research in effective fashion. So that's the only sentence. This is our today's return. Now let me coming back to Lalsar presentation. In the very second slide, he has given the, the list of items which he have delivered another 50 minutes. There he has categorically mentioned eight points that resources of the research, different websites, plagiarism issues, then what is actually research and the every letters of research, he has every letter given a full word and give his anthological sense what actually research is and then if anybody digests the research family of that particular slide, then to me, he or she will be more than 75% will be able to comply with the plagiarism policy, comply with the IPR policy. In other words, he will not be trapped with any other, uh, you know, this year step so that he will be or she will be arrested on any other academic problem. Now, uh, let me just take a query if anybody, it's the time when anybody can share his or her opinion regarding our three days arrangement of session, what problem you have found out and what suggestion we can have to organize this kind of session in future. Regarding the questions of certification, Regarding the questions of PPT files, let me give you the message, drop a mail through the mail ID I have been given in the chat box. 
In generally, we have not any provision to give the certificate. That is why it was not mentioned in the notice and none of it. So drop a mail if anybody requires a certificate, we will take care to issue the thing. And I will collect PPT or PDF of the PPT person. Then I will share it to you through mail to whom you require. Because I know whenever any resource person is saying anything, it's very look alike, very easy thing, very simple thing. But when time will gone, when you will try on Lalsar's presentation or Bajpayee's presentation or Bansal's presentation, then the matter will be just like very difficult. So many a times, this PDF file of presentation will help us a lot as a tool of my research. So that's why I will request my resource persons and by one or two days, I will collect from them if they don't have any ethical aspects. Of course, I will share with you whomsoever you require because our ultimate goal is to help us to extend cooperation in organizing your quality research. That's our basic aim. So anybody, uh, if, you, uh, if you would like to share your voice, please, it's open. Uh, may I request uh, Sami Maktar Munsi to say something about the session? Sami, are you on the board? Dr. Sami Maktar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, can I request you to share your views, please? Thank. Yes, sure, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, Dr. Nimai, sir, for uh, giving me this opportunity. Actually, just a few uh, hours ago, I received a SMS from him, and uh, actually, the session is very good, and I have learned so many things, sir. Agar usi sab se dekha jaye, sir, main kya batau? कि इतने कम टाइम में उदिन ए शॉर्ट टाइम में आप जितने सारे चीज को कवर यहां पे किए हैं ये हमारे लिए और जितने भी हम लोग यहां पे हैं मतलब बहुत अच्छा है क्योंकि हम लोग के जो मतलब दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रोग्राम जो करा रहे हैं सर हमारे निमाय सर ये रियली कमेंडेबल जॉब एंड वी हैव लर्न सो मेनी न्यू न्यू थिंग्स न्यू न्यू टेक्निक्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट expert throughout the country so thank you so much uh, nimai sir and uh, thank you so much uh, dl sir for nice presentation and very helpful for us thank you so much sir thank you dr munshi for sharing your valuable input may i now request dr b shiva from presidency university dr shiva Anybody else, Dr. Serin Mukhtar? I am thank happy to so share. Much. Yeah, yeah, thank please. you so much for the interesting uh, presentation, actually. And this program is very helpful for me. And I'm so delighted because I'm joining. I had uh, so luck uh, this time because uh, sometimes uh, your workshop or program not suiting the time in my country. Uh, but it's very useful uh, workshop. And uh, I hopefully in the future, I can um, physically <laughs> attend again Bishop Baharati. Uh, I was PhD uh, scholar before and now I'm assistant professor. Uh, really, it's very, very interesting workshop. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Then, uh, anybody else? Mohammad Asarul Haq, Narendra Bodh, Navneet Patel, Sangeeta Natkar, Sonal Singh. Jampo sir, would you like to say anything? Yeah. yeah. Please. It's really, okay. It's really a yeah, very, uh, very helpful session that uh, every time you are organizing. So I, I always, you know, notice. Okay. I really okay. notice you are this, uh, this kind of um, circulation of uh, information, new research ideas and methodologies among the new research scholars and academicians, and also inviting so expert in the resource persons so it's really very um, very helpful and very also yeah. beneficial for all the um, all the academician as well as the new young generation of research scholars so from bottom of my heart i would like to thanks the first of all the uh, this organizing team especially dr Majender saha and also Dr. Ajay and Dr. Kaushik and all the entire team of the Vishwarthi 
library network and also the research persons uh, dr dili lal sir for his very excellent uh, you know this deliberation so thank you so much i okay. i will also try to um, attend uh, whatever the program you will organize in the future thank you so much great great thank you thank you thank you sir thank you very nice session all of okay okay thank you madam so i think it's enough now let me formally word of thanks convey word of thanks to wrap up the session finally so at the very outset let me extend warm regards my sincere gratefulness gratefulness from core of my heart to dr didi lal sir who is not only library professional to whom i considered one of my mentor whenever i feel any crisis in the field of library science i just take shelter many indian allies professional dr lal sir would have been one of the best of my umbrella when i am just facing any crisis lal sir is there who is taking care not only for me he is taking care many of the indian allies young colleagues because it is his attitude it is his psychology it is his perception he think that all indian brother and sister is my brother and sister he is just considering that not bihar not delhi not bengal he is considering that national diaspora okay so thank you sir for accepting my invitation and enlightening our galaxy and allowing us to uploading this lecture video on visuality youtube channel thank you so much sir and i would like to solicit your future support in my future endeavor to carry out the vvln thank you so much sir and i do solicit your physical presence in our campus when situation will allow me definitely i do invite you and to um, see or that you will extend your blessings to me thank you sir thank you and i have no way but to extend my deep regards and gratefulness to biswarthi university administration in general and honorable vice chancellor professor vidyut chakraborty in particular professor manobendranath saha acting registrar in particular inter university administration led by joint registrar deputy registrar assistant registrars and i am very lucky enough that i have a good team here at biswarthi who are extending their unconditional support to stage this kind of several online session it is because of their uncaring and unconditional support that's why we are becoming in the online board frequently twice thrice in a month so i am really grateful to one and all the members of my biswati library network in general if i not raise few names then i would have some wrong out of them the name of dr tk das tapos kumar das deputy librarian and in charge kala bhavan library dr koushik ghosh heading general section at central library mr ajay kumar sharma heading china bhavan library along with hindi bhavan library madam sabhat nausin who is taking rabindra bhavan library as additional charge psb library sir kobi femram heading sangeet bhavan library dr parthar pratim rai heading psb library and dr sanad bhattacharya heading sangeet amar uh, shikha bhavan library Mr. Ramprasad Mojumdar taking care of our digital library and ICT application in the entire VVLN, and all the library professional colleagues, young colleagues, new colleagues, Dr. Jishnu Mondol, his name need to be mentioned specially because without his hosting, it's not possible to to oh, stage the session. And the representative from SS Infotech, that is Somo, who is also taking care of this session every day. So that's why two guys are uh, due special thanks to them. so with these our mahadal people also they are also taking care my office staff they are also taking care and many students since i am leaving my chair almost one hour 30 minutes i don't know how many students and scholars suffer me and not to get me in my chair so if they have any miss to me i am beg to apologize for before them because i meant to get a service by sitting in the chair so if i am not available in the one hour 30 minutes in the chair that is my fault so please bear with my crisis bear with me as your quality okay and last but not least if i am not extend my deep sense of regards our participants basket all the three days many participants i found they have attended all the sessions every day and lal sir for your information one participants that that is dr sherin mukhtar she has attended all the sessions all the three days from egypt she was our uh, earlier scholar so i can say this is not national webinar this can be abroad seminar i mean international seminar too 
So Dr. Sedin, you are also expecting special thanks from Vishwati Library Network. And I am really thankful that you have mined us, even though you have departed our campus, even though you have awarded a PhD degree, still your mindset is with Vishwati. Uh, please accept our salutation that you are there to help us. And Thank other so participants, yeah, yeah, yeah. And other participants from Vishwabharati, from Bengal, from different states of India, I am really grateful for your unconditional support. So thank you very much and have a good evening. Nice staying, step saying in their individual places. And we'll meet next month with this annual, uh, I mean, uh, monthly online session, online board, Zoom on video conferencing board. And Lalsar, last but not least, please allow me to extend deep regards from Vishwadi Library Network to my teamwork. And I do require your future support for my next course of journey. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So, uh, so more, please. Yeah. Sir, with your kind permission, may I wrap up the meeting? Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ajay, we are just wrap up the meeting. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you.